you, 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 yo, new breed, what up, y'all, man, the, the mic is working, it's working, I, I was doing a couple of tests, and it was sounding like crap, started a video, started going a little bit, it's working, it's working, Whew. Man, I, was, I was getting upset, I was getting upset, <laughs> uh, I wanted to do a video on the, the rake, uh, or rake, I think this is rake, uh, it's not Rike, for sure it's not Rike. Uh, Rike is R-I-K-E, and there's Katuo, those two are together. This is Rake, or maybe it's Ruik, I don't know. <laughs> but it's uh, Rake is what I hear a lot. And yeah, I don't know if they have any other ties any other brands, but um, yeah. So this is something that I've had maybe uh, about three weeks now, and I've been wanting to do a video on it, and I haven't gotten to it, so I'm getting to it now. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be for uh, Members only thing. This is uh, one of the things that I got when uh, when I got uh, monetized or whatever. So a uh, little members only type thing. And uh, the other one I got was the Moyaro crossbar lap. That was pretty cool. Uh, I forgot who got that one. I think Thomas McDonald. Congrats, Thomas, Thomas McDonald. Hope you got it. Hope you're enjoying it. And uh, so this is the other guy. And uh, I'm not a access lock or crossbar lock guy, but it was a good design, the, the Moyaro and. Uh, it was cool to be able to check that out. So with the monetizing thing, I'm be able to step up a few things here and there what I can grab and check out a little more interesting things instead of like always the stuff that's on sale or that's budget. I'll still uh, get some of that stuff to check out also and uh, to throw out for the live streams. But it's cool to be able to check out some uh, things that are a little more interesting, a little more you know appealing, some better steel, things like that. And uh, so yeah, the P878, I don't know if I already said that. This is a, where are you at? Where are you? Show yourself over right. P878, real steel. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I always call it real steel. I did it in the live stream also. Uh, the rake. And uh, yeah, so let's see what we got going on. Comes like that. Little packaging. I like these frosted, uh, whatever that is, frosted packaging, frosted plastic. Then on the inside, we got the, got the little goodies silica you know you know the drill got the details here that's cool uh qsp has something similar like that with uh, the like the design of the knife the name of the knife that's really cool i like that touch a lot very cool it's got the blade length oh dude it's got the blade length and everything that's dope i didn't realize that so i can show that instead of having to memorize everything i had this uh, not memorized but i had it up on the screen from the website <laughs> So I don't even need it. There it is right there. There you go. 3.4, 7.9 overall. Blade stock uh, is 0. Uh, I'm sorry, 0. 0.09. Weight, 1.6 ounces. I don't know if that's true. I got my scale right here, though. We'll check it out. 14C28N and aluminum alloy handle. So it comes in the frosted pack. Oh, this is the other thing, too. You got, like, the little details of the company. You know, little goodies like that. Some companies give more than others. Some companies don't give anything. Man, come on, camera. Give it to me. There it is right there. 12 seats. What is going on here? What is that? 12 C27. What is this? Maybe this is something else. Oh, this is something else. Okay. Okay. We're all good. We're all good. Two different things in here, I thought. So this is the some other design they've got. I guess kind of a Swiss Army type thing. Multi-tool. That's pretty cool. Pretty nice. Oh, they have some other cool stuff on the back here. Sorry, guys, going off the rails a little bit, but check it out. Some other goodies. Anything tickles your fancy, check them out. I'll, I'll drop the link for this one. I got this one off White Mountain Knives. Uh, I believe this one is out of stock already. Uh, I don't know if that was me. My bad. <laughs> but they're, uh, they have it on uh, White Mountain. Oh, they get the little product name. I guess warranty. I mean, whatever. There you go right there. You can register it or whatever. Oh, no. But yeah, White Mountain is... is uh, they may have the green aluminum still. This one I really dug. I like the look of this. It comes like that. A little frosted bag, frosted mini wheats. It's funny when I unbox it in the live stream. It has this tag right here. It's very uh, department store. <laughs> so this little tag on here, just get it up, get it off. You're bothering everybody. There it is, right there. I, I thought this design was sick. It looks sleek, and the camera looks a lot better today. I love it. You can see more detail now. So it's got like a brushed uh, kind of look to it. It's a gunmetal gray or something like that. It looks really good. I like it. And with that kind of uh, bronze or copper, whatever we got going on there, the accents, looks really good. I really dig the look. I'm into the, the sleek designs. I like all designs. I like a lot of stuff across the board, but I am drawn to these a lot of the times. They disappear. looks really good. I, when I saw it on the website, I was like, how the hell do you open that? 
how do you do it? <laughs> and uh, then I took a closer look and it reminded me a lot of the gavel, which I happen to have right here. That minimal flipper tab and that's what we got going on over here. So that's, that's pretty cool. But I'm going to get to that in a minute also. I do want to talk about that. Got a deep pocket carry. Very deep. That's very cool. That clip goes all the way in there. And uh, it looks like it is reversible, I believe. Just get it, swap it to the other side right there. So just from under there, that's pretty cool. I haven't tried it, so... Oh, I guess I would see. Hold on, let me check right here. Um, oh, I don't know. Because it looks like it's inset into the frame. So I don't know if... Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's a, like a little cutout for that. That's, that's interesting. Maybe... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but see on the inside there. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can see that right there. There's like a little cutout to where it's inset into the frame. So at least that's what it looks like from here. Yeah, definitely. And then on this side, I don't see. I see like a, maybe a spot for it to screw into, but I don't know how it'll nestle in there. So that's interesting. Anyway, I hadn't looked at that, so I was curious. Sorry about that. So very cool look. I like it. Sleek. Uh, 7.9 is what it says. And so the deployment, we're going to talk about that. I like this cutout. A lot of detail on this is pretty cool. I like this cutout right here. That is a nice touch. I wish I would have thought of that for the, the gavel because that's cool. I have thrown it on some other things, but not the gavel. Um, oh, obviously. But uh, I can't think of what other designs that I've done that I've done it too. But I, I do like that. It's a nice touch. Another one that has it is I'm actually carrying it today. It's funny. It's another thing to reference. <laughs> the the uh, mutt. The Iron Mutt from Berg Blades. So I like that touch. It's very cool. Landing spot when you flick back. It's awesome touch. I like it a lot. So that's the idea there. there. And also because it is a minimal flipper tab, you can get it there better. So let's, let's get it out of there. <laughs> nice. I dig it. The ratio, that is a thing that might not, you know, that'll, that'll throw some people off. And I can see it. It is, uh, I guess, because of this kind of thicker handle. And this very like slim blade, it kind of stands out even more that the ratio, uh, handle blade ratio is off there. You got some billboarding. P878AK, Sandvik 14C28N. They wanted to make sure you knew. <laughs> They're telling you straight up what it is. On the other side, you got their name. We got like a, I think it said Stonewash on the site. Uh, this is, I don't know what we got going on here. It's like a PVD or something. Doesn't look stonewashed to me. So maybe there's a different blade out there. I'm not sure. You got some serial number back here. I don't know. But uh, I don't know. A lot of numbers on the back end there. 3XZ something something. So so that is, yeah, it, it is a little off uh, as far as uh, handle the blade. But I, I still dig it. It, it does uh, st stand out a little bit more to me than usual. That's not something that bother bothers me normally, but I do see it there. So the action's great. Action is awesome. Feels good. A little thuddy on the clothes. Like, it's just like a little, like a ting, I guess. Maybe it's like the aluminum, and I guess it, it probably rattles with uh, all the, the holes in there. So that's probably what that is. So, nice action. Uh, they couldn't come down much. It doesn't look like. There's not a lot left to add blade, but you can add blade in there. So it does look like you could could have put a lot more, but that is not the case. Just a little bit more. And it is a steel liner, uh, liner lock. You can see the lock there because the aluminum would be softer, so you're going to need that. Access, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot on that. Sorry, wrong way. Not a whole lot at all, actually. But you have this nice milled out section right here, so it does make it, make it uh, easy to get in there. Nice little scoop out. Very cool. That's the way to do it. If you're going to take away the access, you can still come in from the side. So... Very cool on that. Yeah, look at the camera. What's up, y'all? <laughs> so the what I do want to talk about, you know, they got nice jumping right here. That's good. But what really bothers me about this design is they put the deployment is is where the lock face is, and you know, on the blade. And I've thought about that with designs before, and I was like, I don't think that's. Uh, I would like. I've considered it maybe like way early in my designing, and and I was like, I don't think that that'd be a thing because. You know, it's got to be sharp. You know, it's got to lock up right. There can't be any kind of chamfer on that face. You know, because it's going to have to land cleanly whenever it locks up on the other side. 
so it's that's that's really you know it does when i was flicking it during the live stream when i unboxed it or maybe after it started getting you know, it being a little irritating because it is jagged and it should be you know you want it to be clean cut you don't want it to be you know softened but the other issue i have with that is if you're using it and your hands are greasy or something whatever you choose to use this for uh you're gonna have to be mindful and like you have to wipe that away because if it's you know if your hands are greasy or something you don't want to add that to the lock bar you know on the on that side of the lock face so that's just not great for the design i don't think it's uh i think that's an issue because that's that's just gonna put more debris on that you know uh I've heard a lot about, you know, the D10 ball, the D10 track sticking out, uh, especially from uh, my boy uh, Backpack B. Shout out to Backpack B. He really hates that. And I, he, sees a, he sees it as being lazy. And I don't necessarily think so. I think sometimes you do a design and uh, what you're going for, all of a sudden your D10 ball st and track is sticking out. That can happen if you're working in a way that you don't check it out first, you know, or maybe you change something in your design it causes that down the timeline that you don't you know realize at the time and then you get something really cool and you're like oh man and then you try everything you can to get it to where it doesn't stick out and it sticks out but uh anyway that that's uh that's just something else that uh in, in designing that that can happen and people can see as a flaw which it is it is a flaw but it, it, i don't think it's lazy but it, the thing i see about that is if you're cutting you don't want to go back here anyway because of the folding knife. You don't, you're not trying to cut everything all wet and get things back here. So you're going to want to stay up here anyway. And if you're cutting cardboard, you're going to want to stay up here anyway. But it isn't the great. It's not ideal. But my point is, I guess in saying that, is that with a detent hole, you can get stuff in there. So that is uh, the same would apply to this. You know, if you're touching that directly and, you know, if you were just eating some chicken. <laughs> Love chicken. <laughs> and it would be a weirdo uh then yeah then that's going to be an issue so i don't like that and then also for the the feel of the deployment for the deployment you need it to be you need it to be feel a certain way or be a certain way for the lock for the lockup and uh you can't have it soften for deployment so that's that's not great and you can't let me see if you get back here you can do it it's just it's really it's a weird feeling you know you can slip off a lot easier because there's nothing sticking out so you really kind of, you know, it kind of limits, it doesn't limit you because you can do it. It's just, it's annoying or it will become annoying if you're messing with it a lot. But it's, you know, it's it's up to you if you feel that that's uh, going to be annoying to you. you maybe have really rugged hands, oh, God, rugged hands, bro. <laughs> and then maybe you're like, oh, whatever, I don't care. Then that's cool. Uh, it's a really cool design. I was really drawn to it. I like how it, how it hides into itself. It's just that when I pulled it out, I was like, well, man. But, uh, you know, straight down the center also. Very cool. It's it's designed, uh, other than that, I love the design. I love the design. I really do. Very sleek. Like, gentlemen, just, but it's not the same. It's almost like a, like, I don't know, like, uh, some kind of building in New York or something. They're like, upside down, just thing. Look at the tower. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying, but, yeah, it's it's a cool knife. 14C28, and this was about, I think this was 55 bucks on White Mountain. You know, you get that discount. I uh, use Lefty 10. I always use Lefty 10. It's just what I do. Uh, but there are a lot of other uh, channels to use. I wouldn't mind using Big Red or Manisfaction or anybody. Casey. A lot of good channels. You can use the 10% discount. But I use Lefties. And uh, so I, I, I don't know what it comes down to. Maybe 50 or something like that. I got this on the Moyaro at the same time. So I, I don't remember what it brought it down to. But use it. Y'all check it out. Uh, White Mountain Knives. Drop the link. I'll drop it wherever else you can get it. This is the rate P878. Uh, yeah, very cool. I, that, I love the look of this. That's really cool. I, I should put that on something. I want to. I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. So check it out, guys. If you dig it, I, I like the ratios. Uh, you know, the ratio is weird. I didn't talk about the ergo. It's a very neutral handle. There's not much to talk about there. So it's a longer blade. I mean, the longer overall, the blade is shorter. I don't know what the blade length is. Let's check it out real quick. Come here. Come here, guy. Let's check it out. So we got a little over three inch, about three and a quarter. Three and a quarter on the blade length. So you get a full three on that. <laughs> yeah, you do. What? <laughs> full three. And uh, it's just, it does look a little weird. It does look a little goofy. Even I, you know, I can see it. It's just the thickness right here. And then you got the, the thinness. So, But I, I still like it. I still dig it. 
I, I just, you know, after seeing that, I was really bummed because that, that's a weird thing just to have the lock face there as the deployment. But very sleek. Very sleek, though. Very cool. Gentleman knife. Get it. Cop it. Put it in your pocket. I like it. I dig it. But overall, it is a miss. <laughs> just because of that. And, uh, but hey, man, if it's your thing, grab it. Uh, just other than those two things, the, the kind of the ratio and the deployment, it's a cool knife. It's a cool thing. 14C 28N for like 50 bucks. That's cool. But that's all, guys. That's all I got for you. I'm going to put this back up. Oh, because this is not something I'm going to be holding on to. So that's it. All right. I appreciate y'all. You checked it out. If you lasted this long, saw me fumbling, bumbling, all that good stuff. You know, have a great day. Y'all do great things. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy yourselves. Keep the pockets back. Eat some awesome snacks. I'm looking at the right, wrong spot. Check out later. Peace. Man, Mark messing up. But I got to hit that. Stop.